So yeah, hopefully, I mean, they'll be brought into reception, they'll be searched, they'll be put in a uniform, and then I guess they'll be- Oh my god, he immediately got put into medium security. Yikes. That's unfortunate. So if they're found to have something during this process, they are being put into medium security. Oh dear. Oh dear. You don't want to be found with stuff then, do you? Let's go up to 130 guards here. And that'll hopefully... Now you guys are all patrolling, that's fine. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot of prisoners. Uh, let's see, so... You all need to be escorted to your cells. He's going straight into medium security. Again, kind of unfortunate. But, okay. Are we even using this reception yet? It feels like we're not. I feel like we're straight up not using this reception at all. And then I guess all the prisoners just get to stand on the road. At least they're not trying to break out. That's always a plus. That is, that is definitely, uh, definitely a bit of a plus. Let's go up to, uh, 150 guards. 152 guards. Meant to be 150, but 150 till do. Uh, there we go. We're starting to bring them in now, which is good. So, that'll do wonders for us. We'll bring them in. We'll get them searched. We'll get them sorted. And as long as they don't have anything, they'll stay in minimum security. There we go. This is looking like it's going a bit quicker now. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that is... So unfortunate there, bud. Guess you're gonna be going somewhere else. Oh well. Oh well. Not my problem. I guess all these guys, yeah, they're all being escorted up to... Minimum security again. I think this will be good, though. It does mean that medium security is gonna suffer a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. I'm also realizing... That we have a death row prisoner somewhere. I don't know where the death row prisoner is, but we have got a death row prisoner somewhere. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. Well, that's unfortunate. We could just schedule his execution right away, but there's a lot of prisoners kind of just stood out in the open right now. I don't know how good of an idea that is. Really not sure that's something we want to do. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll hold off. I'm also thinking that, uh... Let's, let's have a little look at our regime here. Or sorry, the programs. Is anyone... interested in this? Kinda hard to tell. Uh, what about logistics? So we do actually have prisoners... working in laundry at the moment. And I'm realizing... that needs connected. So we should, I mean, is that actually connected? It is. You're just very bad at door control, I think. At least that's what it seems like. Oh well. They're gonna go eat. It doesn't actually look like there's all that much food out at the moment. I think we actually need more cooks. So let's go here and go to... 29 of them. And we can at least start serving the food. That'll hopefully keep these guys happy. Uh, we still have a bunch of them out here, though. And the death row prisoner is... ...not actually in his cell yet. Is he still standing in the road? No, I guess he's getting escorted. That's fine. Alright, so... I mean, we've got a bunch of new prisoners. We've got minimum security in here. We got... It's a completely new prison. I mean, that's, that's kind of cool. I'm kind of happy with that. Kind of really happy with that. I've never actually bought another tile in this game either. This is the first. This is a uh, this is a first for me, I think. I guess what I should say is I don't remember ever buying a tile in this, so we'll assume it's a first. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, honestly. I kind of like it. Uh, looks like all the prisoners are off of the road, which is good. It is yard time. I realize there's nothing for them to do in the yard, is there? They're not going to be too keen on that. They're definitely not going to be too keen on that, but... That's kind of just going to have to be the way it is. 
That is, that is just the way it is gonna have to be. So what is it? After yard time, we go into free time and then sleep. So... At the top of the hour, I want to see where they all start moving to. Most of them seem to be moving back to their cells, which is good. And then you're going to be stationed in the chapel just to make sure that anyone going to the chapel is protected and guarded and also not doing anything they shouldn't be. Oh, you're still being escorted here as well. Interesting. Okay. Uh, is the death row prisoner here? There he is. All right. What did you do, Mark Kent? Cantlo, Cantlo. Murder, which you pled guilty to. Aggravated assault, 13 years. Gravest bodily harm, 9 years. Murder, 25 years. And attempted murder. You pled guilty to all of it. So you're in for what? 25, 38, 47, 67, 73 years, 87 years. And you're 30 at the minute? Alright. Okay. Schedule and execution. Initiate lockdown. Test the facility. Let's get everyone to where they need to be. Assemble the execution detail, please. The priest's on the way. This is always grim. It's a, it's a long, long, long walk. I'll just, I'll just let the, uh, I'll just let, let the priest get there. If I remember right, though, the wait, where are you going? Are you gonna walk the whole way down to the bottom and then up and uh, and in that way? I feel like that's exactly what you're about to do. Okay. I mean... <laughs> fair enough. I suppose. Is that the... Is that the only witness? Is it just... I think it might just be the priest, the warden, and the, uh, the chief on this one. That's kind of grim. There's the priest. Okay. So you're coming in. You're being let through. And hopefully someone will get that door. There we go. And then I'll, uh, I'll get that one, I guess. Okay. Oh, witnesses are the family, if I remember right. So the witnesses are, we've got the victim's family, we've got his father, his wife. They have a, uh, they have a bit of a long walk there. Well, everything's prepared. There's only one button left to press. And that's it. Staff and witnesses may leave. You are all dismissed. Thank you for attending this unfortunate affair. There we go. Wait a minute. Oh, damn it. Due to the failure to follow the legally required appeals process and the discovery of information that would have ultimately resulted in a successful appeal, the institution has fined $50,000. Ah. So I'll be fired if the next one... Right. Okay. Well. So I guess we needed the likelihood of clemency to be a lot lower? Well. That's unfortunate. Uh, fortunately, I have means to make money, so it's fine. But, uh, that's... Yeah, that's... That's not great. Honestly, that's, uh... That's, that's not ideal. But it's fine. We can go ahead and just dismantle a bunch of trees and get a bunch of money back. It's fine. Totally fine. I... 
I guess I got a little carried away with the whole death rope thing. That's... <laughs> that sucks, man. That's... that's not good. That's very not good. But at least all my prisoners can go to sleep. They're no longer under lockdown. We have two minimum security prisoners arriving in the morning. And hopefully a bunch of them can go and... I guess... Go to work? That'd be nice. I think we could also go to programs and say... Let's get another... What are we looking for here? Spiritual guidance. We'll start another one of those. We'll edit the schedule. And spiritual guidance... I guess can go in the... Minimum security one here. We'll throw a little bit later in the day. We'll throw after lunch. And hopefully they can have some spiritual guidance. Because that seems nice. That, that definitely seems like something I want these guys to have. And I also feel like I really want me to have a lot more money because... I can't... <laughs> can't believe we got fined $50,000 for that. It makes sense. Don't get me wrong. I'm not debating it. I'm not saying that fining me for executing someone who otherwise should have been given clemency was... is, is wrong. I mean, I'm in the wrong here. I just can't believe I got it wrong. And by that I mean... I can't believe I didn't bother to just wait for him to be... Wait, what's going on there? Whoa, 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 whoa. There was a guard thing flashed up there. I think a prisoner may have just... tried to get clever. You don't want to do that, bud. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, they're rioting! Or they were fighting, at least. This guy, for example... Is, uh... What are you- what's wrong with all of you? You want food? Oh, dear. Yeah, you're all gonna be moving up to medium security or, uh... Maximum. Yeah, they are... They are hungry. I'm feeding them, though. Or at least I'm trying to. I don't think we have enough cooks. We can't afford any more, though. Well... I guess we're gonna be tasing people. I guess that's what we're gonna be doing here. That's unfortunate. Got you going up to, uh... Maximum security for what? What did you do? Attacked a prisoner, attacked staff? Well... You've really only got yourself to blame there. It is definitely not good. Like, these guys are, are straight up not being fed, though. That- that is really bad. That is really bad. So I need to get money. And I need to make sure they're being fed. So let's try and just, you know, get rid of this debt that we're in. Which should be fairly easy. We've got enough, uh, enough logs around here to do it. Oh, another guard being- a couple of guards being attacked up there, actually. That's really, really bad news. Fortunately, we're not in debt anymore. So what I'm thinking we'll do is I'm gonna just clear as much of this out as I can. Because I think we just need more cooks. I think a few more of these guys could be a good thing. So let's try and go up to 40 of them. Oh, this guy's going for it. There we go. Alright. So I would assume we have enough cooks at this point to manage. I mean... Today alone, it would appear that, uh, 15, 17, sorry, 17 of these prisoners have been moved out of minimum security. What the hell? Our psychologist is unconscious. Oh, I realized what this room was going to be. This was going to be an infirmary. Well, that's awkward. Oh, dear. Oh, wow, you are- oh, no, the psychologist- yeah, that's fine. I thought the doctor had been attacked there. 21 minimum security prisoners have been moved out of here. We have a guard that's unconscious. We have broken doors. You know what? I'm gonna say that for destruction, we don't move them up. 
Because I am pretty sure that we don't have... We'll put you in solitary for nine hours, but you're just going to have to stay where you are. Because I don't think we have the room for 22 prisoners moving into, like, medium security right now. Now, here's hoping that... I mean, there looks to be a lot of food out here. So, hopefully... Hopefully, this works out. I mean, it looks like there's a lot. It's... Wait, free time? You know what I'm gonna do? I might say that they eat at that time. I'm tempted to say they can eat here. So, what if we say... They can eat here. No, 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 no. Same for everybody. Everyone eats. But then they get an extra hour of work slash free time there. Oh, stop splitting it up. All right. So let's see what happens there. So they've got some free time right now. Then at three o'clock, they can go and eat. And then we can hope for the best. What are you complaining about? Safety? Yeah, that's definitely an issue. That's that's definitely going to be a problem. But now it's time to eat. So they can all start grabbing some food. And they can all chill a little bit. There's a guard over here in trouble. Okay, that's great. Do we really not have enough food out here? I feel like we don't. What happened there? Guess we just don't have enough meals? Do we not have the money to feed them? I'm realizing that might very well be what it is. I think it might be a case of not having enough money to feed them. In which case, fair enough, that makes sense. So let's hope for the best on that. They're going to get fed again in the evening. And then, I really hope that uh, they all actually get to eat up here. Because I don't think, like, down here doesn't have issues. Down here's fine. They are actually being fed down here. I guess because each of them have a canteen to themselves. Whereas this is just one kitchen trying to feed however many prisoners. I guess that makes sense. Either way, let's see what ends up happening here. I think this they can eat again at... 7. Oh, hello. There we go, you're being moved up to maximum. Great. So yeah, they can go eat. Seems like there's a decent amount of food about. So let's see. A lot of them are complaining, but a lot of them are getting food. Up to 40% of them fed. I mean, that's not... It's not a good number, but I think... I think we managed to feed a lot more of them that time. I do think we managed to feed a lot more of them that time. No, it was still a lot of them complaining. Oh, dear. Is that a shotgun? Is, th is that a shotgun shell? Good lord! I don't even know why that's here. We don't have armed guards up here. Well, that's bad. That is very, very bad. Up to 25 new prisoners coming in tomorrow, so 25 of these guys have been moved elsewhere. And based on the fact that there's uniforms on the beds and the holding cells, I think... I think it's fair to say quite a few of them get moved into, uh... Into somewhere they shouldn't be. You're ex-law enforcement. You need to be protective custody, bud. You absolutely do. Uh, let's see here. So informants, let me activate a bunch of you. Just because I can. And let me see here, actually. Intelligence, informants. Do we have any... 
We have a bunch of potential CIs. Now, you being a CI would be very good there. Because you're actually going to be in... Uh... Minimum security. So that'll be good. Got a bunch of CIs up there. Ex-law enforcement's being moved. That's fine. Hopefully we can find out a fair bit about these guys. Yeah, there we go. So the ex-law enforcement guy's being moved out. He's gonna go down to protective. But yeah, hopefully we can find out a good bit about what's going on with these guys. And hopefully we can start making money. Because 26 of them got moved into a... Uh, got moved into a different part of the prison right there. That's ridiculous. That is... That is actually ridiculous. Just the fact that, I mean, it was all because they were unhappy and I get that, it was completely my fault, but... Good lord. I'm just glad I haven't put any... armed guards in here. I mean, free fire... I don't, I don't know, I mean... I guess free fire could have been... Could have been what would have set them off more so, but that was just, that was still ridiculous. Good lord. Uh, let's see. Materials, dismantle. Let's just get a bunch more trees out of here. Let's just keep that going, see if we can get the, uh, the exports going really well. So take all of those trees out. And, uh, I guess, what, six and a half hours we get seven and a half thousand dollars for 26 new minimum security prisoners. All because I had them super unhappy. I mean, makes sense. Definitely, uh, definitely makes sense to me. Gonna need to... Gonna need to keep them happy in future, really. It's kinda just how it is. Uh, let's see if I get some phones in here. We'll go like that. Get a couple on that side. And we're a little bit broke because of the weight benches, but that'll give them something to do in the yard, which will hopefully keep them kinda happy. And I guess I could also go sell, you know, a bunch of these to get back in the positive there. Alright, let's see what happens in the morning with 26 new prisoners coming in.